welcome once again and this is how it looks okay so can you see all right so i'm going to cut the excess fabric right here if you have not followed us on facebook please go ahead and follow us at allured by ruby and also that allured by ruby is our facebook page and we have we have a uh a, a facebook group where we give so many freebies from time to time our group is allured by ruby craft academy also kindly follow us on instagram at allured by ruby okay you don't want to miss out on all the goodies we have packed for you all right so this is how it looks right here and the reason why i asked you to to turn your your sewn part outside or outward is because i'm going to go ahead and turn this like this okay so this is going to give it a neat finishing can you see all right so now i can go ahead and cut my thread you know just remove the stitch i made just to hold it in place the other time all right so now that we have our kit i can go ahead and remove the thread okay so this is how it looks right here it's actually looking good it's looking good it's looking good okay so this is how it looks and this is looking very very nice so what i'm going to do now which is the last step you can go ahead if you have a uh, excess uh space here you can go ahead and just close it up which i'm actually going to do so i'm going to go ahead and attach my mix button this is mixed button this is another design and this is another design so i'm going to go ahead and attach it right here closely all right i'm going to attach this with my needle and thread and i'm going to extend the attachment i want it to be full so i want it to be from here to this place so i'm going to go ahead and attach and when i come back i will show you how to make a bow just in case you don't have mixed button or you want to make for your lovely princess and you can afford to you know make her use a hair, uh, a hair accessory with buttons all right it might not be safe for children so i'll go ahead and show you just in case you want to use a bow and i'm going to also attach a bow to this so you can choose your design so i'm going to go ahead and attach my buttons and i'll show you how it looks like when i'm done all right welcome back and as you can see i'm em i'm still embellishing my cap so i'm going to put this aside before i go to the edges here so i want to show you how to make a perfect bow for this project okay so i have um my fabric here and this is six inches okay if i open it up this way it's going to be 12 inches all right so and that is the length so 12 inches or when you place it on fold six inches and the width is five inches okay so i'm going to go ahead and sew from here to this point and from here to here i'm going to leave this part open so apart from that i will need my warden some people call it wording, some people call it breast pad. It depends on you. You can use the hard one or the soft one, but this is the soft uh, wording I have here. So I'm going to put this wording aside while I go ahead and stitch from this part to this part and from this part here to this part because I'm leaving this part open because I want to fix uh, this wording inside my bowl, you know, to make it hard a bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how it looks like when I'm done. Welcome back, dear creatives. So this is uh, the stitch from here to here and from here to here, leaving this part open. So go ahead and cut your wording to the size that can fit inside. But before I fix this, I'm going to turn it to the right side. Okay? I'm going to turn it and make sure you push the edges, the sharp edges, push them out properly okay so this is how it looks so i'm going to go ahead and put my wording inside this way okay push it place it properly inside and allow it to sit perfectly okay so i'm going to cover up the edges right here if you have excess 
coming out here you can go ahead and just cut but i can go ahead and close this up like this from here to here all right i would like you to practice and submit your practicals drop your comment your questions you know your observation how to serve you better but most importantly i need your practicals because you need to try out these things yourself to learn you can only learn perfectly from your own mistakes all right so i'm going to go ahead and close this and i'll show you how to fit this to your turban cap if this is your choice all right welcome back and i've closed this part right here so quickly i'm just going to secure the middle with my needle and thread okay secure the midpoint with needle and thread i'm just going to fold this right here you can fold it anyhow you like just make sure you fold it properly okay and i'm going to secure with my needle okay so i'm going to secure it properly right here so i'm going to go ahead and secure this and i'll show you how it looks like when i'm done all right this is my bow right here i just tucked it in the middle to secure it so this is actually detachable all right so you can before if i remove all those buttons you can decide to put on your turban like that you know just with the loop alone okay and you can also decide to attach your bow in the middle it's very 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 easy to make just place it in between like this and you are so good to go all right so you can remove it and wear it anyhow you want but i'm going to go ahead and continue embellishing with my buttons and i'll show you how this beautiful turban looks like when i'm done <laughs> 